Hi, today's section we are going to see how we can integrate a SAML SSO for FortiGate administrators using Azure. Let's jump in and see the various steps involved to configure a SAML SSO on Azure and how we can integrate them into FortiGate administra administrators page. Go to applications, active directory uh, page, then enterprises applications where you can see new applications option where you have to choose uh, no gallery applications. Just click on that, enter the username uh, which is required to our corporate. Based on that, you can enter the username over here, then go to the appropriate steps but i'm not going to create a new one because i was already created one let me showcase you how we can uh, create it okay just go to that particular application in the left hand side you could see users and groups you need to add the users whoever wants to access this uh, fortigate firewall as an administrator then go to a single sign on where you could see the various steps to configure um, the IDP information and service provider information. In our case, the IDP is nothing but uh, Azure and the service provider is nothing but uh, the FortiGate device. So we have to enter these informations like identity ID, uh, R R relay URL, assertion, sign on URL and logout URL. Okay. The, all the URLs are start with IP address of the firewall and end with uh, the respective values like metadata or SAML ACS or SAML login. Once you've done that, the next step is you need to go to create user attribute and claims. When you see here, you will see plenty of user attributes over here. So you, you have to delete all the entries and create only one entry with username and value as user dot user principal name. The next step is going to copy the values and the certificates. So you have to download the BAS64 certificate, which needs to be uploaded into the FortiGate device. Then copy the uh, login URL, Azure AD identifier and logout URL. Okay. Let's jump in and see how and uh, we need to configure yeah, the FortiGate device to accept those connections. Login here. Go to the CLA console. Either if you have access, you can directly go to the CLA console. Otherwise, uh, you can click from here. Otherwise, you can use Putty or any other kind of applications to access the food firewall in CLA mode. This firewall is uh, configured with uh, different uh, VDOMs. So that's the reason you need to go here. Otherwise, no need to go here. You can just uh, go to config global and config system. config systems SAML and show. So here I was uh, already entered the details. Let me show you in another page so that you can see the information clearly. So I'm enabling the status uh, of the SAML. So sa set SAML enable, status enable, then default profile, it will be no access. You need to change to super admin or read only access, whatever you record and you, you have an option called set certificate 
you can enter the certificate of the FortiKit firewall to negotiate the connections. The next option is IDP entity ID, where you need to, whichever you config copied from here, the entity ID which is you copied here will be pasted on under set IDP entity ID then uh, set idp single sign on url whichever you configured copied from this page will be entered and the single sign on logout url which you copied from here will ended and the idp certificate certificate will be downloaded from here as a base 64 certificate which needs to be uploaded into uh, the fortigate firewall the steps will be like go to six terms certificate and then there is an option called export import where you need to import the remote certificates so, okay that certificate will be pasted here you could see the certificate is already imported so you just give the name of the uh, certificate here and set server address is nothing but the ip address of the firewall okay these are the steps required to configure on um, on the fortigate firewall once you've done that you can try to log um, you can just log out from here and try to access the firewall once again with SAML SSO. When you log in with your IP address, there is an option called <coughs> login via single sign on. Just click on that. The FortiGate will redirect it to the IDP and there will be a. Okay. So let me do one thing. Let me open this in an incognito window because. Uh, otherwise let me do one thing let me cancel this uh, sign out uh, let me sign out this once i sign out this um, there is no information about uh, the idp now so we need to log in manually so there there will be a username and password prompt first i'm sorry let me log out You have to click uh, sign in via single sign on if i was already uh, logged in with my credential that's the reason the log credentials was saved here otherwise you can use use another account let me use the same account here it will prompt it for passwords so enter the password sign in once this authentication completed, the page will be redirected to the FortiKit firewall. You can accept if there is any banner created. And you could see the login information like SSO. And this is the name of the SSO user. Okay, This is nothing but service provider initiated SSO. So because you are entering your credentials, uh, your FortiGate you firewall and entering your credentials. Now there is another method called uh, IDP initiated SSO. For that, what you have to do, you have to get the IDP URL. Okay. Let's go to Azure Active Directory, Enterprises Applications. When you click on um, SAML admin for to get SSO, you could see the properties. In the properties, uh, there is an user access URL. Just copy that one. Let me log out from here. Otherwise, uh, the authentication will not prompt that. So once you logged out, access the so now the idp is first initiating the authentication and you are authenticated so now the redirection is happening 
active directory then a banner page from the FortiGate once you have accepted the redirection will happen and so here you can see the authentication is based on users which is from the SSO users and the user information is federated over here okay let's jump in and see the uh, console configuration and I, ca I can showcase you one one more information in the configuration you are defining my default profile is super admin but you are not integrating your user informations or your group informations into anywhere of the 40 gate configurations but when you go to systems administrators you could see a user is uh, automatically created over here with the SAML assertion information fetched from the 40 gate from the IDP thanks for watching